then we went to the spring show and we'd bring up the Golden Wonders and then the Johnny Beach up for them in Dublin that end the Golden Wonders for the spring show because then the Golden Wonders are late potato and a flowery potato. It's fine for them. <laughs> uh, I, one day I had time in my hands and I had, I felt I got a good price for that load today. I spent a few quid. <laughs> <laughs> I went down to O'Connell Street and there was a famous town shop there at the time. <coughs> and re he recommended uh, the city, this particular city, Cambridge, where they bought it there in that town, in the top end of O'Connell Street. And recorded in that. Yeah, that yeah. I mean, just for people like, what was your intention when you bought it? And what actually uh, transpired? What did you do? My intention was to, uh, uh, from the children, yeah. Philip and the children, as we call them. But what happened was uh, we had a family of nine, and at the time six or seven called my I think the last four or three. <laughs> 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 couldn't, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't afford the film. <laughs> Some of them there in the building of the church with neighbours of ours, um, um, you know, Slattery's, they were next door neighbours almost, and they'd be handy to get them because I, I, I would, it gives it a dimension and it gives it a time frame, and you know, it would be easier to that into the film. And I would say, to come on up the church and want to film with me, but you'd be busy then in, in the shop, like, and you know, things were improved. You had to you had to keep the the nose to the grind wheel at the same time, but you're getting on half an hour, and I got half an hour, different half an hour. Some some of them are quite good. I thought the first mass is exceptionally good from the point of view that all the old people in it are all dead. The two servers were Polly and Lee, my two sons. That I got that. I'm sure there were six or seven servers. The same. I got them, and uh, I, I said the tradition has started today that on account of the copper roof and the way it's stood down, they had to build a big you know, hex tank or so to, to collect the water off the roof because it wasn't the water that was coming down, it was coming down in sheets, and people would get wet passing it out or it. Would destroy the place around it. Do it but on the first Sunday, people used it as a fine day, as you will recall from the film, and they sat in it. And I said, The tradition sat in <laughs> These were built for one thing, but the old prince of wood couldn't use it as a seat. Yeah. And, you know, it did happen for a while, but then it did. <clears throat> yeah, I was just saying that um, I've seen a couple of these archives over the last. Um, couple of years and Frank's, I, I'm not just saying that because he's here, but Frank filmed his particularly well and so that when I uh, like went to uh, put that together um, he tells me he got no training. No, well, but I didn't get any professional training yeah. or anything, but in, in the beginning your man told me how to use the camera and I read a few things that you start from left to right and you, you don't pick one back and over like that. <laughs> you just move it very, very slow, slower than what you would think, yeah. from left to right. And, you know, I, I try to do it, but then you see something, you know, just <laughs> <come again. laughs> and it, it, This is a big mistake in it. Sure. The, the camera people do it. You know. No, you did great. <laughs> um, there was one wedding there today, uh, 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 that's uh, Christy Grover. Christy had the Grover's pub there, and he married Brady, the chemist Brady Murphy. And, uh, and our nephew was here, but I'm not sure if there are any of the family here. But the introduction to that wedding, I, I, I would like to see it again. And I, I got the disc off them tonight. I got the disc back, and I'm going to get two copies. Liam Delaney is here. And, uh, because of the there and his mother and father are in the thing. 
I got the postman and I gave him the invitation in in Glock. And there's two envelopes here now I'm going to bring you out. And I started them at the head of the road. And it's a narrow road going in the village, which was exceptionally good because the camera picked up both sides of it. And the flowers, the wildflowers, and different things, and thistles and this and that. And I filmed the um, chief here, the postman, and he going in the little road. And he'd probably be one of the last that was on the bicycle. With the carry, the, 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 they had this carrier in front for the put one bag and another bag across the shoulder. Got him into the back door of the house and uh, Mrs. Delaney, uh, I said to her, I'm going to film this, I rehearsed the whole thing with her. What she, I thought she changed me across all the and then all the old trees, see what I'm in now, and she said, give me time when we can go. So I said, what would be like, but the old one, I look quite well. No, 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 I'm going to see what it's like, and I said, go on, and the film, then, our son is here tonight. And I told her the envelope to open. And she opened the envelope and they honed in then on the invited invitation to the wedding. You know, we sat in from there. But you see some yeah, but we, we, later, yeah, right? we don't actually have that, that piece of footage, but we're actually, have, we're yeah. actually finding it since. Yeah. But the, the thing that you take from that is that everything is rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> Even the stuff you saw there, to an extent, it is all rehearsed. Like you got the kids to come up, you got them to sit there and wave. Yeah. And like filmmaking has always been like that. Like there's a lot of the rehearsing, getting people to stand here and sit there and uh, and Frank in there. I ask one more question before people want to come in. I think Frank, when you see that tonight, do you are you very aware of the value of the social history? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think everyone is aware of that now that like yeah. like we've got a written records, but to have a visual record of that time in our own village. Uh, it is amazing, and not every village has this. But the, 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 the knocking of the church, and to see the people walking around, so the people walking over them, yeah. no helmets on, <laughs> walking up the girders with no safety whatsoever. And you know, it, it's a completely different time. Uh, I, I, I was so sorry afterwards about two things. One, the bell went out to Africa. That we didn't keep it and re erected someplace in the grounds of the church. Mm -hmm. And number two, the finest to put stone, mm -hmm. whoever will dig it up sometime, it's under the, ten uh, the tennis courts. Of it. <laughs> 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 it's stumped in there it's just to get rid of the rubber. We were talking at the time of uh, building the tennis courts and they were after draining the river in the 50s, the 50s here and 60s, and they used to wash the sheep there, the wool and them. So we had to raise the levels to bring them up about 10 to 12 feet at the river. So any place we could get rebel, rubble rub to... Um, he, he said rebel there. Rebel, rebel, he's there, he's there. The rebel appeared in the film there. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 Paddy McKenna, Paddy the Box. Uh, he, he used to run the belt in the box and you put the bio wine to the belt. And it depends which side of it Paddy would pull, probably you'll get your money. If you got caught in the belt, it was salmon. But Paddy was so cute, he knew the back and the front, and he gave one more, and you were gone wide. <laughs> but he'd have a fellow artist stuck in the audience, just around them, and said, If you want to try it, yeah, you might come in. And the ordinary fellas, Come in from other country, or John wouldn't know. And he let him win, yeah. and he paid him the ten shillings and the whole lot, or whatever it was. <laughs> and this, you know, I can do that. That's easy. And he's winning. Paddy would give one more push to the belt to see a new house. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, I thought these people have questions about particular stuff. The senator have no doubt um, about people. If anyone has any questions, you can ask them now, or, or I can keep going. Yeah. Whatever. If anyone has any questions, just a shout at uh, the, 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 the <coughs> Paul, yeah. Paul, sorry, uh, I'd like to, to ask Frank uh, something, please. If you continue, Frank, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you aware at uh, that time uh, that Joe Gilmore was, was also filming, you know, on a much bigger scale than you were, obviously, because, you know, he, he was almost full time at it. Yeah. Uh, 
And you know, that program then became the flight from the snipe, the sniper yeah. that uh, Pat O'Connor made, and Brendan and I had a role. Uh, because not many people realize now, I mean, that we had our own cinema in Newtown as well, the Marion Cinema, uh, yeah. the Cinema Paradise of Newtown. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and our own Pathé News as well, because some of Joe Gilmore's stuff used to be shown uh, as, as, you know, before the main feature and all that, even about 1959 on, I think. I even remember the opening night of Jerry Lewis comedy. But it was a pity, looking back on it now, Frank, that we didn't see more of your stuff there, which was fantastic. Well, we have. <laughs> we you had, remember, we you had a box. Joe, you knew Joe Gilmore, didn't you, Frank? And Sorry, I mean, Michael Gilmore who owned the centre. Oh, yeah, we used to go to the, we used to go to the films down just at the pub in here. It was funny, our uh, Sheridan's Bakery, we used to call yeah. it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the old bakery down there. And they put on the I think, Frank, what we saw tonight, because I grew up with all that now, I mean, we saw our neighbour Joe, 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 Joe Nolan there and all the rest of yeah. it. You mentioned Brady Murphy there. Yeah. I mean, not everybody would have realised Milton had its own pharmacy, a small amount of but not alone its own cinema, and seven pubs, six, and they provocatively named Blue Pig, you know? But uh, I thought you, you, the stuff we saw tonight from you, and uh, Paul, of course, has seen it ten times more, was very happy, it was very happy stuff, you know, very happy scenes. Whereas some of Joe Gilmer's stuff that was in the Flight from Sniper, which itself was kind of Brendan striking an acerbic note at the title of his immigration, so you, you got very happy scenes, you know, the weddings and, and all those. But I thought painted a fantastic picture of the times that were in it. You know, because really that was the time that some people might say poor but happy. But it was a fantastic time to be growing up in Milton, you know, and not just because of the six pubs or anything like that. I <laughs> <laughs> just make a comment on, on, the, on the church, uh, Frank. I, I personally never liked the new church, really. I, no. I thought, you know, I thought it was architecturally and everything else, it's a dull monstrosity, but they... But when we, I was a mass server, we were talking about mass servers there, you know, along with Joe Boyle and all my neighbors, you know, all the lads who were schooled. And we loved the old church, and an awful lot of people in Milton regretted that the old church was ever knocked. I mean, I'm lucky that I've retained a photograph of it, and I, I look at it very often, and I'd have an open my throat on it, you know. Um, it, it, so that wasn't for the better, really, I think, you know, architecturally or anything like that. But apart from that, apart from that, you. you, you you succeeded definitely in capturing a place that was a very happy place to grow up in. You know, I mean, foot, it was football was fantastic there as well. But when you think of it, six six pubs, a seven, then you know, just a, a mile away, a pharmacy of their own, a cinema of their own as well. You know, and that was long before we entered into an era where everybody said, "Well, it'll all have to be urbanised in the future and all that." And everything. But I think you've done a magnificent job in capturing a place that was a happy place in my time, certainly from the you know from the fifties into the sixties. Well, don't you need to talk about the church now? That's one of the things. Yes, because um, the most footage we have of everything is of the knocking of the church. Yeah, but I think you have to realize that at the time the bishop said you'll get a new church in Midtown. Yeah. We just didn't question it. Now, uh, at one stage, he said to us, Akin is after building. Three churches. They were designed by an architect, and there were three special concrete built by Galway Concrete with a gold design, probably no more. And they're down in Ackill, and people don't have power to cycle to Mass. There are three of them. Huh? So he said, I'd like to go down and look at it because Midtown is a poor, poor parish, and uh, to get in and process after architect and design, um, you know, some uh, up Dutch church. Yeah. Uh, I think it's too much, he said, for the parish. We went down to Ackill, we looked at the three churches, and we got to <coughs> for anyone to see them. And they're like small little bands, or right, you could put pre-stressed concrete beams and fill in the side of them. So we, we, we told the bishop, no, but uh, that we wanted something better for me than what he was suggesting. That's about as far as he could go at the time. But uh, sometime later, within that year, I was in Boston, and the Ecumenical Council was just over, and they had come up with all this new design, um, wedge shaped, that everyone in the church 
the sidelines were going, and everyone would be able to see the, the priest every mass. The, the priest would be facing you. They'd be slanted down and from the back door to the front, so you would this sort of thing. And I seen this beautiful church in the area of myself. He said, they're all coming out of, you know, I explained to him, you know, it was a wheel shaped and now nothing, but we wouldn't be able to build what they had in Boston. But he said, yeah, I do a design of a church that will fit into about uh, 65 to 75,000 euros. Why is that? And I think you're right. So the parish went to London with it, and that's what we got. Yeah, I can just say that it, um, I featured, there's two days Frank Fillon, the, the day of the first mass, which is what you saw, you know, Frank actually filmed the official opening of the church as well, which was a different day. Now, I didn't include the two of them there because they're both very similar. And the day of the official opening, uh, the bishop was there. It was all very formal, and people were kind of like standing in rows. But there's, it's much more of a relaxed mm. day of the first mass. Yeah. It, I mean, it's a lovely summer day, and everyone kind of smiles at you as they go by. Um, was one of the other um, things that we saw there was um, the carnival and the racism. I believe that was the last running of Newton Race. Was it? I think, I, I think I that's true. I think six, yeah. I think it was, it was the last one. running. Sixty-six, so, I think. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was an insurance issue, wasn't it, Frank? Uh, well, it, it was an, at the time. Um, what do you call it? Um, the horses you were supposed to run in the like the Milton wouldn't be the full um, purebred. They were what what's this they used to call them called um Thoroughbreds, yeah. Hmm? The Thoroughbreds, yeah. They weren't the full thoroughbreds. Hybrids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, and we had a farm's race and we used to have a donkey race, so you said they were all happy times. It was a mad fight. It <laughs> <laughs> was a mad row about who won it. They are in a few of them, and the height of the ponies 14 2. Yeah. One of them had hands. 14 2, you measure the pony that way. And two fingers for the top one. And uh, we were often blamed for <laughs> not keeping to the 14 2. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, does anyone have? Anyone else have any questions? Do you want to ask about people or anything? No, but just getting back to the church, right? Uh, we were building our community centre. We had kind of finished and money was very tight. I was one of the guys that was deputised to, to meet Father Lowry to yeah. buy some of the seats. Yeah. And we went up with a tractor and trailer and I asked him, I said, how much do you want? I think we had them loaded. He kind of showed me with the money anyway. And I said, how much, right? Oh, we said, are you acting smart or did you go to school? <laughs> well, we have some of them seats up to the present day in our centre. They're, they're from, from the 60s, you know. So we have some the of the old men's The old men's pitch pine. Oh, pitch pine, pitch pine yeah, in Garrafon's community centre. Yeah, and the seats we got wouldn't be of near the quality, right? Yes. You know, right? that, that happened every place. So that, you see, some of those windows were, and people were very proud of them. And, some of their ancestors had paid for them to the money. They came from America, the immigrants went to America and sent home the money uh, to pay for a window yeah. or a seat or whatever it was at the time. Yeah. That was commonplace. And they were just taken out and left to the ditch and they said, well, we, we'll get them in here now. So why is it? They were never done. It was an awful pity that they weren't put so place because it's one of the loveliest days in Jackson. Mm. But to see them climbing up the roof now, no, no. I, I, one of the things hit me today, all the older people going in with the hats on them and the caps and the dress and that, mm. and to the first mass, I thought the nostalgia that I thought was to trust Lumbe. Mm -hmm. And uh, many of them you see. Thomas Carell, I see him there tonight, he was the first man in Milton to live to be 100 years. He was, there. He was at the first mass there. Plenty of people recognised on the piece. Uh, one other, you know, the staff 
is next door. Uh, Gabriel, the poor fella, he was there with his elder sister, Lord, and he got killed at the cross at the um, the fair, not the fair, the fair minutes um, between Mintown and Chum one into Chum one day again. Did you see him there? Or not? There was Malarkey's pub, a good show on Father Malarkey was home. And Francie there a few times? Francie, yeah. yeah. Francie, yeah. Francie helped a lot in after years of yeah. spins and all of the tennis sport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm just saying for, for myself, that'd be the favourite bit that was the wedding. That was the wedding. Mm. <laughs> See all those people smiling. Uh, my sister in law then and she's very thin. My brother appears in that film. My two brothers, Tom and Joe, and both of them are dead since uh, I was at Joe's first anniversary and that's this evening. Good memories of the past time. So It brings back memories. It does. Uh, if it falls. I think people should know a lot more of it because yes. it's even better than the written. Oh yeah, absolutely. People are, uh, everyone has a mobile phone now. Can any of you say that you've recorded footage that has, has a value as a social history compared to something like this? Mm. I mean, he had to go to awful lot of work. He had to, the reels had to be sent to London at the end of every every, every, every reel. And they were developed in Hamill Hempstead in London, I believe, yeah. Frank. When you, when you got it back then. Yeah, when you bought the reel at the time, included in, in the portrait price of the reel was the development of the reel and the post back here. There were all 25 foot reels. We would have to put them together. I used to put them together in the 50s at the beginning to give, you know, the 25 would only give you four and a half minutes or five minutes or whatever it was. You put them together, you have nine minutes at least, nine and a half minutes or whatever it was. And then we put them into 400 foot reels later on. We'd splice them, join them with a glue. You'd have to make them put them, join them like that. And Glue them and, yeah. You know, you had a 400 foot reel, which was about a half an hour or something, I think, or 40 something minutes. Yeah. It was, but uh, the address, as you said, Kodak Limited, him and Hempstead, look. Just look. <laughs> so it shows you, if you send it to Kodak and look, yeah. they. So again, I, I'd just like to um, say again, thanks. Um, uh, this is a funded project for Creative Ireland and Going County Council. It wouldn't, happened, it wouldn't have happened uh, without that support. And as I said in the email, I I'm uh, making a short film about Frank where he explains a lot about buying it. And you see a whole range of a different uh, footage from Frank's travels around the world, which are in that. And hopefully we'll be able to add something Yeah, and hopefully we can uh, put on the screen in again. Yeah. I'd love more people to see it. It's a fantastic venue. Thanks to the mm -hmm. man and to, and to John especially for all the help that they gave us. We were originally supposed to put this on 18 months ago and then uh, COVID happened. We originally put it on Milton and uh, that, was, that just isn't possible now. But it was great that we were able to have like a, like a proper venue here and the, and the lads here were absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, tell them why it isn't possible, it was sharp right? Well, it just, there were so many other factors with, we'd have to bring in sure. seats, we'd have to bring in the whole, we'd have to bring in the screen, the insurance and all that stuff. I mean, everything's already here. So, mm. it's already here. Um, so maybe we might get a different crowd there from Mintown if we do it again. If it was put on again, and again, we would love to get uh, some more footage and the film that I'm making. So uh, just to fill out some of it. And there's loads more footage, and it is brilliant. It's mm. from all over the world. And um, there's other stuff around Galway as well, I know Milton. And uh, Frank has done us all a great service. So. There was some problem too with the footage there for that all island that year. There's very little footage from that whole Ireland final. There's a, if you search it up in your film, there's uh, hardly news footage, I think. But there's very little, there's nothing yeah, from the sideline. So, you know, and that stuff from the ground as well. I mean, you've got writing in the ground when mm. the players were going up. Like, there's no fear in this lad. He wasn't like stepping back. <laughs> He's right in the middle of them and taking shots of all the players from 64. Uh, and um, yeah, so Grace, um, it was, uh, it was, it was a, yeah. You should show it down in Ballandine how to win in All Ireland. <laughs> 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 um, I heard during the week that um, 
some of the Galway Camogie girls that went here on that island yeah. have volunteered to let their names go forward on the Not Marriage Bureau. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's what you use. We don't want to give that here. My job is up there, you can write that off. Oh, no. My job is like that off. Um, okay, can we go up yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming. nice for us because this is the first time we've been back in since uh, last March present. So it's just so wonderful to see real people in real seats. It's just fantastic. Uh, delighted to welcome Paul in here. Uh, I was aiming at Culture Night as being something that, I, that if we get a chance we put something in and next thing I got a call from Paul and he said it's Culture Night I want to do this on. So it was perfect. So it was absolutely fantastic to have you and Frank in fairness should be very proud of that, that body of work. That's fantastic and I'm looking forward to seeing seen some some of the rest of it. Uh, just the plug has to come. Uh, we have a lady over here, Casey Harrington, who has a gig in here tomorrow night week, a uh, comedy gig. Uh, we'd love to see a few of you, if you can't make it, pass it on the word. Uh, it's, the very, it's going to be very funny, five different artists. Uh, so kicking off here at 8 o'clock next, uh, tomorrow night week, tickets available in Quinns and on Eventbrite if they want to get them online. So thank you all for coming. It was fantastic to have you all. And it's so wonderful to have our lovely theatre open here. Thank you.